For most people, a snatch of familiar music can transport them in an instant to a happy time in their lives. So imagine the impact a live musical performance can have on people in hospital or in long-term care, especially if they're lonely and sad. Well, live music is what music in hospitals is all about. Skilled professional musicians bringing their special brand of entertainment to people of all ages in hospitals, hospices, care homes or daycare centres right across the UK. Most concerts take place in the more populated Central Belt, but remote areas are reached by musicians on tour. And on any day of the week, numerous concerts are likely to be happening across the country, totalling more than 1,600 concerts each year. Music in hospitals is extremely fortunate to have so many talented performers to call upon. But not everyone is suited to this often very demanding work, no matter how skilled they may be musically. The ability to communicate with sensitivity and a warm and caring personality are every bit as important. A visit to a paediatric clinic can be an anxious time for children and parents alike. At Victoria Hospital in Kirkcaldy, guitarist David Hood quickly puts everyone at their ease. How I long to be there with Marie who's waiting for me there. Everything's a challenge, but it's very rewarding. The musicians are all hard-working professionals who take time out from their busy performing schedules to do hospital concerts. Mezzo-soprano Colette Ruddy recalls one concert which had very special meaning for the family of an elderly resident. They asked me if I could sing at her 100th birthday, which was a year later. Unfortunately, a couple of weeks later, the lady died. But her daughter phoned me and said that the last two weeks of her life were full of music because of that concert. That concert seemed to wake her from, from a dream. For people in need of palliative care, a live musical performance can provide warmth and cheer, as well as the diversion of a social occasion to enjoy with friends and relatives. When you're giving music to people who are confined to a particular situation, those in hospital, those in hospices, then somehow the level of communication is is far greater. The difference that this can make in their whole quality of their lives is, is remarkable. There's no doubt from a scientific perspective that music has a therapeutic benefit for patients and in empirical studies with music in a variety of mental disorders it's been shown that the exposure of patients to music improves their mood, improves their behaviour and improves their social functioning. So it's really not surprising that what we see on tape is patients improving and from being rather dispirited at the beginning of the concert, they're enthusiastic and enjoying themselves by the end. It's difficult to take in the scale of all this musical activity going on across Scotland week in, week out. A proportion of the cost is met by the healthcare centres, but some are unable to contribute even a small amount towards the cost, and so around two-thirds of the total must be raised by music in hospitals. And of course, the more money we raise, the more concerts we can put on. This is made possible by the generosity of charitable trusts and business firms, as well as the Friends of Music and Hospitals and individual donors.
just like to say thank you so much for a really delightful afternoon. We take lots of medicine, orally, but I'm sure this medicine this afternoon has really cured us. Thank you so much for coming. We need music, we need sound, and we just have the experience of actually Taylor making the sound to a particular group of people or to a, a specific individual. Um, that's, yeah, I feel very privileged to be part of that.